Oh, it's beautiful. Feel tip it. Holy shit. Beobles! Oh! That's juicy. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey! Oh! Oh, just drilled into his uh, forehead. My goodness, that's giving me goosebumps already. Oh, that's a beautiful spider. 30 years in the making, god damn. A nightmare 30 years in the making. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh my god, I just wanna pause every time. Look at that juice coming out of him. Oh, holy shit. This all stop motion? How did they do this? How do they do these effects? Bill brings humanity and empathy to every character he creates. Mm. Ew. For some reason, close-up of mouth and teeth is creepy as fuck. Hmm. POV, you're a dentist. Oh! <gasps> Guillermo del Toro says Phil Tippett is a master? Well, I do love Guillermo del Toro's movies. Oh man, I want to watch this then. Hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It's the thing from earlier. It has hair as well. This is how you make something even more disgusting if it's fleshy and it has like very little hair and juices coming out of it. Ugh. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that one. This one. That's beautiful. Ooh. My god. Have you guys seen this? Any of you have seen this uh, movie yet? Oh my god, this, this is pretty good actually. Puparia. One person made this animation for a lot of years. That's a really good one as well. It's just on YouTube. Scary boys. Phil Tippett finally making it into the big leagues. Man, I wanna watch this. Body horror works like that if you watch a creepy shit, put eyes and teeth where there shouldn't be eyes and teeth. Well, I feel like the teeth there is at the right place. It's just zoomed in. Or maybe, you know what, maybe I may be wrong because these other parts are like teeth as well. I don't know what, what are we looking at. What are we looking at here? I don't know. Oh, hi. Hmm. Bonk. Yeah. Where are the teeth? Oh, there it is. Maybe that's not a face. Oh, there's eyeballs there. Clockwork orange kind of shit. Yeah, there's eyeballs as well. It's like clockwork orange. This camera is going in. Tongue. And there's a mouth. Yeah, but we're not sure if this is actually a face. This thing looks like a toe. Hmm. 
hairy toe. And it looks like a toe. Like, this is the nail part. And this is the toe. And the toe has limbs and stuff as well. Hmm. Dude, the sound is quite unsettling. Hmm. Was the movie actually already released? Yeah, yeah. This is from two years ago. Trailer does not show the traumatizing part. Of course, this is YouTube. They're not gonna give away the the juices for the trailer. War on Chaos Worlds. Ma 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 ma. Dude, Mad God. It's animated. It's stop motion. I love stop motion. Damn, this is interesting. So this is the movie that inspired uh, Forever Winter. Uh, the aesthetic from this movie. The world. The machine! Oh! The juices, the goops. Oh no, it's, it's made in 30 years. Damn. The dedication for this, man. Sheesh. Building stop motion. Actually, there's a behind the scenes by Great Big Story. Let's check it out. This is from seven years ago. Maybe this is Phil Tippett as well because I see the thing. Yeah, this this thing. That's him, right? Okay, let's watch this. People ask me this, you know, for my day job. Isn't what you do tedious? as a stop motion animator you very conscious of I thought this is him time what the fuck is that Ooh, a jar jar full of nurgle uh, liquids time and of incrementally moving a three-dimensional object oh my god it's amazing mad god is a stop motion film that i've been kind of making for like the last 30 years there's nothing stopping me oh, it's him. Yeah, from it's continuing up. doing it, you know, forever. Of monsters and men. When I was five years old in 1955, I saw King Kong on television as a stupid kid. Oh, look at it. He's beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, the fish man is beautiful as well. Oh, look at him. Controlled by Hollywood monsters, and that was really the thing. Oh, also this one, I want to watch this. This is very old, right? And this is all practical effects, the skeletons. I remember seeing clips of this. I also want to see this one. It was really the thing that kind of kindled my appetite. Subsequently, over the years. I have worn many hats in the motion picture racket. I've been involved with Star Wars, the RoboCop series, Ooh. Jurassic Park, Starship Ooh. Troopers, on and on. One of the things that gives me a lot of pleasure is, is to make something, but the day job has certain requirements to it. Over the years, those requirements have become a lot more limiting. Oh. The Mad God Project allowed me to just make this more pure thing that was kind of a pure form of therapy thing. for me as an antidote to my day job. Ooh! Uh, that's... Ooh! That's visceral. This thing? Oh my god! It blows up and it's... Ooh! Ooh! It's like something you want to touch, but also you don't want to touch it. Oh my god. It's a combination of live action and stop motion miniature sets in layers like a collage. For lack of a it's better like a collage. Term, it's a passion project. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. things keep getting deeper and darker and odder. There are imaginary cities that are built out of iron ingots. There's like strange jungles that you go through. There's this huge dystopic post-industrial nightmare city post-industrial nightmare on on. practically anything that i can think of inherent in it there's a um, level of surprise that I, I think you know for me is a very childlike kind of a thing 
I shoot here at my studio in Berkeley. It's stocked with all kinds of stuff for all kinds of different Ooh, sonic fish. projects, woodworking projects, lights, cameras. So it's a huge toy box. All of the characters in Mad God are built by me. The process begins with the articulated skeleton, and that's made mm -hmm. by ball and socket or hinge joints that allow you to move the characters incrementally, one frame at a time. And then I just wrap lengths of polyurethane foam and build up the general mass. From there, I will take latex skins, adhere them latex with rubber skins. Oh, it's kind of gross. Look at that texture. Looks like, looks like cabbage. <laughs> Paint the thing, and then it's ready to shoot. When you're actually shooting a stop motion scene, you project into the character. And sometimes it can get very complicated. You are always gauging acceleration and deceleration, weight and mass, and then that kind of leads to, but you know what, what would make it better? For me, this whole process is more of a compulsion. I really have no say it's over it. It's a compulsion. It's just that I, I, it just has I to, have do it. to do it. You know, I've been doing it so long. It's, I, I breathe, I live and breathe in this world. It's all I think about. Oh, it's real. He lives in that world. Mm. There's a review here that says it's not for the faint of heart. Mm. <sighs> Curious. Curious indeed. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.